the smuggling operations and smuggling endeavors are highly sophisticated. A new sign in the level of sophistication of criminal organizations at the border. One sheriff serving the border says he is now finding wristbands that cartels are putting on undocumented immigrants to track them. Fox Antonio's Yami Virgin investigates. Nobody crosses the border without paying the plaza tax. The plazas are the main drug routes into the United States, which are also used for human smuggling. In Kinney County, about 30 miles west of Del Rio, Sheriff Brad Coe has found evidence in the form of wristbands of the level of organization being used to smuggle undocumented immigrants. Over the past couple of months, the wristbands that the people are wearing uh, designate where they're going to, uh, how much they've paid if they're uh, other than Mexican, if they're Mexican, male, female, children, if it's prepaid, it, they've got a coding system. A coding system that along with Customs and Border Protection, the Kinney County Sheriff's Office is now decoding. They've got it down to a science, certain colors for certain days, just like in an event, you know, some of the college towns, you know, they've got the wristband to go into the bar on Thursday night, but it's a different color on Friday night. So it's basically the same thing. That coding system's also used to track who has paid and whose family back in their country of origin has to be shaken for payment. As far as paying to get across, we're hearing anything from uh, $4,000 for, uh, for Mexican, and it just goes up from there. Uh, Congo and, and Russia, whatever else, maybe as high as ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, $20,000. So it varies, and it depends on uh, location to location. It may be a little cheaper here in our area, but down in the Valley area, it may be more expensive or vice versa. It just depends on uh, the luck of the day. Sheriff Coe says the war on the other side of the border is intensifying as the cartels try to keep control of their money-making routes. So it's uh, it's just like a corporate business. You're always trying to, to take over another uh, line of work or put somebody out of business so that you can increase your profits, et cetera, et cetera. It, it, it's a business. The cartel del Norte, they're, they're running certain areas of the uh, river area. Uh, the Sinaloa cartel, the Gulf cartel, they're all battling for territory and, and trying to get the, their area of the river for them only. Sheriff Coe says that what he's seen today will affect the rest of the country if it is not put under control. Jamie Virgen, Fox News at 9.